YouTube boss it going the goat house is back with the top 100 NFL players according to you the fans a lot of you created your top 25 belt we put it together we have a top 100 this is the second video we went through 100 down to 71 in the last video we're going from 70 to 41 in this video and the final video will be a top 10 reveal so excited to do this uh point system on your screen massive shout out once again to these guys down here is their, their twitter cam sullivan set this all up he created all 100 graphics absolutely huge absolute beast uh but moving on to the next set of rankings so 70 241 you see jordan mylotta Starts it off at number 70. If you There's a playlist on the channel of all these videos that we'll do. We're revealing them in separate videos here. Uh, but we have the highest rank up there, which was 17. So somebody ranked him pretty high. Yeah, he might be. I mean, he might be a little low at 70. I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts uh, in the comments. Like, he could be ranked a little higher. One of the better tackles in football. Really good story with him kind of being an underdog. Um, so he comes in at number 70. Uh, number 69, I was surprised... With Legarius is with Legarius Sneed coming in at 69. Uh, I thought, you know, he, I thought he'd be a lot higher ranked because he's one of the better corners last year. Uh, I'm very curious to, you see, somebody ranked him at 16. It's a pretty high rank. He played that well last year, lockdown corner. But I'm curious to hear people's thoughts in the comments. Like, do you rank him a little lower now because he's away from the great chief system that really produces corners? That very, I mean. Spagnola, insane coach, and now going to the Titans, who do have a pretty underrated room, good cornerback room as well. Um, does that affect the ranking there? I definitely could see that. So maybe he'd be a little higher if he was on on the Chiefs, perhaps. It's just very curious because the fans decided these rankings. So curious to see their thoughts in the comments. Number 68, I mean, another guy that probably could be ranked a little higher than Neil Hunter, tackle for loss leader last year. Uh, has been very, very good for the Vikings. Very consistent as long as he's healthy. He goes to the Texans. D'Amico Ryan's coaching that. Opposite of Will Anderson. Uh, the defensive ends there. I mean, I think he's going to be outstanding. So I think I think he, he probably should another one. Probably should be ranked a little better. Uh, but somebody ranked him as high as 16 because I, I thought he's been better than 68 for the Vikings. And I that, damn sure I think he will be under D'Amico Ryan's uh, with Will Anderson up there. Um, I think we'll be ranking him much better in 68. So, uh, but you know, defensive end starting to come off the board. You know, look at the end of last video to now, 67, a very interesting one. I'm blocking. I apologize, but not, uh, highest rank 16, number 67, Derwin James. Uh, very interesting one because we know what Derwin James could be. We know the talent that's in him. He's showing the flashes, and that is top 20 talent in all the NFL. One of the best safeties in football. Uh, but got to be a little more consistent. Got to stay healthy too, but a little more consistent. Does rely on flashy plays, even though he's very, very good. So this is a guy that I, after this year, I could see us ranking way higher, but this is probably where he belongs right now. Uh, another guy that needs to stay a little healthier here at number 66 on the top 100 list, according to fans, Mark Andrews, who is one of the better, one of the better tight ends in football when he's healthy. Um, highest ranked 16, just so the most important weapon uh, to Lamar Jacks, really. Uh, because they're, they're always lacking when it comes to receivers. I mean, this is this is a kind of a receiver and tight end here for Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews. So coming in at 66, a little bit of a surprising one, Bijan Robinson at 65. I, I know he can definitely become this or better, and he probably will this year, to be honest. Like, he'll probably be that good in that new offense. Uh, somebody ranked him as high as 13, but this won't be debatable because we saw Barkley in the last video down in the 90s. Uh, we saw Kyron Williams. We saw... Raheem Mostert, uh, Josh Jacobs, guys like that, and Robinson, Brian Ro or Bijan Robinson, completely crushes them, um, ranking at sixty-five. And we know he could be better than those guys, but I, everyone's different. There's some people that are going to be like, "No, he hasn't done it yet." There's no way I can rank him ahead of those guys. And there's some people like, "He's going to be that good, like for sure this year. He's going to be. I know he's going to be that good." Let's rank him at sixty-five, so or rank him at thirteen. Someone at him, um, so. Definitely an interesting one, B. John Robinson, but about to have a big-time year for the Falcons. 64, Deron Bland. We saw Trevon Diggs come out in on the list last video. Uh, but Bland, who um, interception machine, obviously, last year, breaking records, and comes in at the highest rank, 11, but comes in at number 64. Four, I apologize, another one I'm blocking. But 64 on the list, Deron Bland, highest rank, number 11. I think people are split on him, too, because he's one that kind of gives a big play, but then... Make the ball. The ball just finds him. He's that good of a playmaker. Um, Sixty-three. Another corner, Denzel Ward. 
Um, yeah, it's crazy because I think most people would probably say, like, even though even if they think Deron Bland's good, the difference between Ward and Bland might be a little more, and they're back to back here, 63-64. Uh, but Ward, very physical, very consistent corner as long as he's down the field, highest ranked 10. So somebody put him as high as 10. Uh, I know the league is very high on him as well because I saw the the ESPN rankings that are kind of created by executives, coaches, things like that. Then him as the as a top two corner, yeah, number two right after Sertam. So people out there do think very highly of him. Stephon Diggs, former Vikings, former Bills, but now Houston Texans receiver. Excited to see him with C.J. Stroud. Uh, people thought he did take a step down last year. Maybe he did, but the talent's definitely still there. He could be a top-tier receiver very easily. So another one that people are probably split on. People kind of are a little down on him lately, but people are like, Stephon Dick, like he's so good. One of the better receivers, especially downfield in football. Um, highest rank 17 comes in at 62. Uh, Laramie Tunsil comes another Texan comes in at 61. Highest rank 22. Definitely one of the better tackles in football. Just another guy. Just got to stay healthy. Uh, you know, and for him, he'd probably be even higher, honestly. Like, he'd probably be ranked even higher. Uh, if people, I think that's probably the thing, if they could trust him to stay healthier there. Interesting one at 60, Brock Purdy. Another, a lot of guys I think people are split on, really. Uh, just in general, when it comes to fans, just hearing chatter, comments. This is, you know, what I think. I think just some people that think it's a top 10 quarterback in football right here. He was an MVP candidate. He's, he's rapidly progressing. He is that good. Some people were like, eh. He's hot and cold, a little inconsistent. Uh, you know, maybe just made by the system. Um, I would disagree with most of those takes. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, system definitely helps, but not every quarterback go in there and play like that. And he is progressing very, very well, very rapidly as well. So somebody ranked him 21. I'm surprised someone high, rank him even higher than that, but he does. He must have got a lot of love for the highest rank to be 21. He must have been. You know, because the ballot's top 25 for, for fans, but he must have got a lot of votes in the 21 to 25 range. So, does make the list at 60. I could even argue he's better in that. <clears throat> Jordan Love, back to back quarterback. So, this one might be debated as well. One really good year for Jordan Love, but at the same time, it was his first full year starting. Uh, but he did really struggle earlier in the year. Really, really did. People had the, the Love Stinks memes, uh, but then he took off and he looked incredible down the stretch. And in the playoffs, he looked really good. It felt like the Packers got one once again. They just recently gave him that massive contract. <clears throat> Packers know quarterbacks. They know they have one that's pretty solid. They know they have one that has a ton of upside. So I actually think I, it might look like a lot of money, but I think it makes sense. So I do think the Packers got one. This is a guy that's going to climb the ranks for sure from 59, I think, going forward. I think Brock Purdy as well. So pretty cool to see those guys back-to-back. Highest rank was 20, so he obviously got some love as well. Jeffrey Simmons, another guy. I mean, I'm t- talking about too many guys that probably should be ranked higher. I think Jeffrey Simmons is better than 58, uh, but it's a pretty good rank. Maybe not, you know, it is a pretty good rank, uh, but Simmons is a game changer, gets doubled a ton. Um, I'm very curious to watch him with Devondre Sweat next to him. That's going to be a lot of fun. Highest rank was 20, um, and he comes in. Uh, at 58, so this is one I think is going to be a. It's going to have. He's going to have a big boost this year. I think he could be a defensive player of the year candidate this year. I think he could be that good. Um, he was a top recruit. He was one of the best prospects in that draft class. He got injured during the process and had an off the field issue. Still went in the first round. So it's not like this guy. It's a surprise that he's as good as he is. He's supposed to be elite. He's supposed to be 57. Mika Fitzpatrick, which. Yeah, a couple years ago, probably, people probably would have ranked him. If we did this list, they probably would have ranked him much better than 57, even though 57 is a very good rank because we're only talking 100 players here. Um, but Fitzpatrick, maybe it felt like he took a little bit of a step down last year. Uh, and there's other safeties on the rise. Winfield, Bates. Bates has kind of been on the rise. Winfield, too. Kyle Hamilton, <clears throat> guys like that. Uh, so is this a guy that is moving down the list as time goes on? Maybe I could definitely see a step back up this year. So I thought he was a little underwhelming. I, I, sometimes I don't know if the effort was there last year, which is weird. So maybe he gets a little uh, pissed off and, and proves that he still got it. Could definitely see that. Uh, but it's been one of their safeties in football recently. Uh, Quentin Nelson, another one that probably could be debated a bit. Uh, highest ranked 15. Man, he was that elite prospect coming out of Notre Dame. Seemed like a sure thing. And he is a sure thing. He's a good guard. But the first couple of years, he looked like one of the best elite players already. And like he was going to be ranked top 10 for, for years to come. 
And then it was a little, little disappointing, even though he wasn't bad at all. Like a little disappointing here and there, a little underwhelming, I guess I should say. Uh, there has been some system changes here and there when it comes to the Colts. Definitely blocking schemes have changed, but still very good. So this is a guy that pe people probably wouldn't even rank in the top 100, but you see a rank as high as 15. But he probably got a couple people ranking around that range for him to make a, 50, a solid number of 56. Uh, but we know the talent's in him somewhere. Uh, Christian Darisaw, who just got paid top tier tackle money, uh, the, the other day or last week actually, uh, comes in at 55. Somebody ranked him at 16. This is an up and comer. He's kind of known as towards the top in terms of tackles. Uh, but this is a guy that could take over as the number one, number two tackle. It, it almost feels like it's with a few other guys, but whose league is this in terms of tackles going forward? Uh, Penny Sewell, I think you for sure have to say. Christian Darisaw, I think, is probably the other one people would say. And there's a few other ones. If Andrew Thomas stays healthy, um, could a Joe Alt get in that mix? That's to be determined. But I, I think most people would say, like, the young guys that are the future. I mean, Darisaw gets, constantly gets some of those Trent Williams comparisons. Um, but, yeah, so he gets paid for a reason. Number 55, highest ranked 16. So his, he's getting some love there. Uh, Brian Burns, former Carolina Panther, the newest New York football giant. I think he's quite underrated. Uh, somebody ranked him at five, so they must believe he's very, very underrated. Um, but I think everyone thinks he's good. He's flashy. He has a lot of upside. Um, could use some more production, but I think that's where he's underrated. People look at it, he gets like nine or so sacks. He's more of an impact to me than that. He really is. Like He is on the brink of getting so many more sacks. Like He's closing on the quarterback. He's causing hurries, a lot of hurries. Um, and he was a raw prospect, like thin frame coming out of uh, Florida State. So his best football is ahead of him. I think he'd be good with, really good with the Giants. So uh, five is pretty generous. I do think he could be an elite pass rusher uh, very soon. That's definitely possible. So, ex again, excited about him with the Giants. He comes in at 54. I think he's deserving of 54. But there's some guys I'd probably uh, – who are we talking about? Some other – edges. Yeah, Daniil Hunter was a little lower. But um, it'd be interesting to see, like, who – how the, those two compare this year. I think they both have an ins insane seasons. 53, Jalen Hurts, another guy that this list today in this video is a bunch of guys that are probably rangy when it comes to different people like ranking. Um, Jalen Hurts could be elite at any time. He was elite two seasons ago. Not so much last year. Not that he was bad, but it didn't really, it felt like teams kind of game plan for him a little more properly. But uh, dual threat monster has the arm, has the legs, has the toughness, uh, has the ability to find ways to win football games. Um, so, yeah, there's people who are like, yeah, this this guy has it in him. There's not too many guys that have that talent, that collection of talent. And I, I saw what I saw, people were saying, probably two years ago. He's a number 11 type player. I can definitely see that. And some people are like, yeah, ah, he kind of got figured out last year, took a step down. Does, is that is that a pattern? I don't think so. I've, I don't necessarily say it's a pattern. It keeps stepping down. But I can see some people saying that. I hear people saying that. So um, I think people are either ranking him up by 11 or they're ranking him Closer to 100. I think everyone probably agrees he's in the top 100 list, but he comes in at 53. Does that make sense? Like, if people are ranking him down at 100, people are ranking him, you know, in that range, it kind of evens out a little bit, I suppose, here. Uh, Brees Hall comes in at 52, so definitely an up-and-comer, but already took off last year. The reason I did not win my fantasy league, my main fantasy league last year, so um, he pissed me off a little bit, but I love seeing good, good football. I mean, he was incredible down the stretch of the struggles the Jets had, but... Um, the factor that he is, the league recognizing it as well, him being ranked high by coaches, executives. Uh, somebody ranked him as high as 10, but he's kind of that running back that's uh, about to take over. Like, could he be that next Christian McCaffrey where it's a consistent, like, number one, like, clear-cut best running back? He could be that guy as long as he stays healthy. Uh, I was very high on him at Iowa State as well as a lot of people were, so very excited about that. Him, very excited to see him. Uh, with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, because obviously Hall can catch the football out of backfield, downfield, but uh, passing game having some more success could open up the running game even more. Uh, 51, Dak Prescott. We There's always a debate. Jalen Hurts versus Dak Prescott. We just saw Jalen Hurts at 53. Now we see Dak Prescott at 51. So very interesting. Highest rank, Jalen Hurts actually had a higher, a better highest rank, uh, but this just means Dak got more votes on people's, on fans' Ballots, so very interesting, but that'll be highly debated there. But Dak did have an incredible year last year. Just got to play a little bit better in the bigger games in the playoffs. That's really the only thing with him. He's 
It sounds like he's going to go this year without a new contract, but we'll see. Does he test free agency? I keep highlighting the, the Cowboys still, but the Raiders and the Steelers possibly for Dak Prescott. We'll see. It'd be weird to see if he's on a different team, but we could possibly see it. Kicker, Justin Tucker comes in at 50, one of the best kickers, probably the best kicker of all time, actually. Highest ranked 13, so somebody put him that high. I think that, that kicker, that important. Could make sense. There's so many teams that lose games because of kickers, and the Ravens win a lot of football games consistently, and he is a not the reason, but a big reason for it. So he comes in at exactly 50, highest ranked 13. So kicker love there. Uh, Matt Milano, glad to see he's getting some love. Was injured most of last year. He is one of the better linebackers in football. The Bills missed him deeply, desperately needed him. He is the most important defensive player on the Buffalo Bills defense. Um, so Happy he's healthy. Hopefully he stays healthy this year. Comes in at 49, highest rank 18. That will probably be debated a little bit in the comments. Maybe Cooper Cup as well because is he the same? Is he durable enough? Did Puka Nakua pass him? Did he already pass him? Is he going to pass him? Um, he made the list in the last video. Uh, he's at 48. We knew we do know he has that talent. When he's on the field. He's very, very productive. Somebody ranked him as high as 16. I mean, he was the year the Rams won the Super Bowl. Like you could debate, he was the best football player all that all year. You know, uh, that whole year. So he has that talent. You know, so hopefully we see a little more of it this year. But we did see, we saw it a little bit last year for sure. Very solid. Uh, second year tight end making the list coming going into his second year Sam Laporte another Detroit line here um, was super productive kind of just felt like a receiver at times for them huge part of that offense definitely a mismatch guy a weapon highest rank 17 comes in at 47 so we saw the former uh, the former Lions tight end TJ Hawkinson uh, come in in the ranks of the last video so uh, Lions fans got to feel pretty good about this Laporta coming in this much higher but may, both of them making the list so it looks like the Lions no tight ends uh, another Lion Frank Ragnow who I believe is the best center in football uh, but I suppose it's debatable very important that Lions offensive line really just stands out you know it's not often centers stand out that much somebody ranked him as high as eight I mean that seems high for center but I'm not really going to argue against it. like he's that important that good uh, and he comes in at 46 so I'm glad to see that he got some love. This is only his second center that's made the list. The first center was number 100 in the last video Tyler Linderbaum. So um, I would assume we're going to see Creed Humphrey uh, still but we're, we're I'm reacting it as we go here. The fans made the list. I didn't even make the graphics so I re I'm really reacting to it. Um, but his highest rank was 8. Wow. Uh, Lane Johnson, one of the better tackles in football, comes in at 45, highest rank 17. Uh, Jordan Mailata made the list. He started. He started this list in this video at uh, number 70. But, yeah, does Johnson kind of take a step down at any time soon? We'll see. It doesn't really feel like it, but uh, how much time does he got left? But been a very consistent, very important, solid tackle for the Eagles. Jalen Johnson, the Bears corner, the first Bear to make the list here. Uh, highest rank 15, comes in at 44, was one of the better corners in all of football last year. Um, re really, yeah, I know the first year he looked pretty good, and then it was a little underwhelming, and then last year, Best year yet. Got that big contract. Really fits that Eberflus defense. Really good in cover too. Really physical, sticky in coverage. I even saw like a clip the other day, one on one drills versus Roma Dunes. They just locking them down. One on ones are so hard for corners. So it's a sticky cover guy that it feels like is only getting better. So one of the better corners. I was surprised how much Johnson and Sneed were split up. Uh, Sneed in the 60s. So I guess not that much, but they're tough to rank. Like they got to be really, really close. Uh, so I was a little surprised about that, but definitely well-deserving Jalen Johnson here at 44, the uh, Chicago Bears corner. Uh, Matthew Stafford, I think Stafford, uh, I think he got gypped here. I think he should be ranked way better than 43. He played out of his mind last year. I, to me, he was like, if I were to rank MVP candidates on the year, like he would be in that conversation. Not that I'm not saying he should have won it, but I thought this in the past. I thought he played that well. I thought... Maybe people would look at interception totals. Um, maybe just not in like okay, but not quite to their liking. But he played way better than the stats showed. So important, so smart. Still has that arm. Plays through injuries. Plays so freaking tough. Um, just so important to that team. So highest rank sixteen. That's more like it. I'm surprised the highest rank wasn't even wasn't better than that. I thought he was a top ten player last year. I really did. Um, not that I would rank him top ten in general, because it could be tough to do that again at his age. But I mean, he looks—he looked like that was one of his best years of his career last year. I think probably his second after the Super Bowl year. Um, that good, um, you know. And him making Puka Nakua, Puka Nakua makes himself as well. Like he—he he helped himself. But 
Uh, this is a little disappointing by the fans in this one. I thought he, I mean, 43 is pretty good, though. That's That means something, but I thought he could have been a little higher. A couple more here. There's Creed Humphrey, so I knew knew he was coming because uh, it was, a, I think Ragnow is the best center in football. It is pretty close, but I knew he had to be on the list if Linderbaum made the list. Uh, and then we didn't see Humphreys to that point, so I knew he'd be coming here. But uh, highest rank, 14. Um, so that means Ragnow got a higher, highest rank. But uh, Humphrey got more rank, actual ranks in the top 25 ballots by fans. So he comes at 42. Um, I would imagine he's the top center. But I guess you never know. And the final one for this video. Uh, so this was, and we didn't see another Packer, Jair Alexander. Uh, this video was 70 to 41. The next video will be 40 down to 11. And the final video, we will reveal the big top 10, according to the fans. Uh, Alexander, yeah, a couple years ago, maybe two years ago, he probably would, you, you probably would have ranked him a lot higher, a lot better. Um, need to stay healthy, a little more consistent. But we know he has that talent, that playmaking ability in him uh, to be better than 41. But 41 is a pretty good rank, really good corner. They're switching their defense up a little bit, you know, new defense coordinator. If he's healthy, I think he could have a big year. Definitely think he'd have a big year. Very important to them. Uh, there were some people doubting him a little bit. I felt like down the stretch of last year, there was people talking about, like, what are the Packers going to do with his contract? And then he played very well in their biggest games down the stretch in the playoffs. So, I mean, that talent's there for sure. I, I was a little confused about the doubt. Uh, but that's the last one on um, this video. So we'll have a playlist. So you can go to the playlist on the channel, and you can watch them in order. But this is the second video, and then two more to go. All of them going to get done this week. Really excited about it. Uh, again, special thanks to the guys. Astronaut, big spe special thanks to Cam Sullivan for helping us out uh, on this one. R really not helping us out, kind of just doing the video. I'm just recording it here. Uh, but, yep, yeah, check out that playlist. Check out all our videos. A lot to get to before the season. Excited about the upcoming content here before the season and during the season. Check out our sponsor, Liquid IV. Uh, code GOAT for a percentage off. Absolutely love that stuff. Getting better and better. They're making new flavors. That is going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.